more information about the DVD. Hey, <laughs> welcome. I haven't seen you. This is the first time we've seen each other. Yep. <laughs> all right, so tell everybody who you are and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm Faye, and I joined MSC like January 31st. It's pretty early, and uh, I didn't trade for the first week. I just watched a whole bunch of videos pretty much the whole week. I didn't do really anything, just watch the videos. Uh, then I started to trade the second week. I tried a few like different strategies because MSC teach different things. So I tried pretty much every type of thing, like first bounce, uh, first red day, low hanging fruit, everything. And uh, I learned that I'm not really good at first bounce. So I just stopped doing that. And I think to me, the first red day setup and the low hanging fruit are the best for me. So I just keep doing that one. So let me uh, reiterate what she just said. She joined two months ago? Yeah. The first, the first thing she did was she watched the video. So you, you notice what, what, what the, the commonality between everybody that's successful is? They educate themselves first before they start trading with live mm -hmm. real money. You know, why, why are you, it's like trying, if you're an engineer, you don't just build a, a, a bridge right away. You have to learn how to build a bridge and go to class. Otherwise, the bridge will fall down. So, I, you know, that's the great thing that I noticed that you did. You kept telling me that you, you used the quarantine time to watch all the videos. And you're yeah. like, can I watch more videos? <laughs> and uh, I think I watched the, because I'm a lifetime member, so I watched that seven-hour video already. And that's really, really fucking good. Okay. The, the, one that's, oh, yeah, the beta testing. Okay, that's good. And that, you, you know what she's doing. She's actually now like, you know, like she knows what she's doing, but she's still watching these videos. That, that's the thing. Education never stops, guys. I think the good point of watching that those videos, it's more like I start to learn what I don't know. Because when I started, I know I don't know, but I don't know like where I should learn what I should learn. And by watching those videos, like I take notes, I pause the video. And if there's something not clear, I just go back to the video library and search for whatever I don't know. That's did, you, did you have experience trading before? Uh, other than Swin, some Microsoft, Tesla, I, I didn't know so, anything so gambling, about trading. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So this is your first real actual attempt at day trading. Yeah, I think I'm pretty lucky. I never joined any like chat room or anything like that. I think the reason why I joined MSC is because you posted like the $250 a day is 50k a year. And to me, like I'm making good salary. I'm still working from home getting full salary. It's like, why not $250 a day? 50 50k a year why not right yep that, that's the thing people think that they need to make a million bucks but if you could just make a couple hundred bucks it adds up and so that's uh so they asked you that's so when you started to trade you were using smaller size and you were making what a couple hundred bucks so i started with a hundred share 100 shares yep and uh, that's how i tested like what method works for me with a hundred share Yep, that's great advice. You have to start small, guys, so that you can get comfortable and become consistent first. And then later on, you start to, to move up. How, how does that work? So tell people how you actually – tell us the process of education to learn to get to where you are today. So basically, I started with 100 share, try different way of trading. And then I feel pretty comfortable with one way, like the first red setup and the low-hanging fruit. And I watched a lot more videos about those i watched your live trading videos and also i practiced drawing my lines so at first my lines was like far off from whatever you guys post like that kind of frustrated me so i went back to watch video again i didn't trade for like two three days because my lines were so off and then after practice like watching your previous video and I draw those lines as well to practice and also like even I don't trade I still watch your watch list then compare my lines with like the next day Alex line and that's, that's how my lines start to look 
legit like very close, like few cents off. So, uh, so let me ask you. So people want to know, like, so my gosh, like, is it true that you can actually do this? So I, I, I was talking to Faye a lot because people don't believe that you can just do this. The reason why, in my opinion, is this. They start out with not many bad habits like we do. If you learn from someone else, you have to unlearn a lot of that bad habits. So what she did well was she put her ego behind. She started to watch the videos, draw the lines, figure this stuff out, didn't even trade for a few days, go back to trading 100 shares. It's a reiterative process. It's like an engineering process. But which of you are an engineer, right? So that's why. Yeah. Uh, and so have, now how have you been performing? I think people want to know that. Uh, this is really impressive, man. I've, I've never seen this. Um, so and- I, I haven't had any red days so far. Like, there were a few days I didn't trade, so zero again. But I kind of, like, practiced my lines, and I kind of set up my plan. I just didn't do it. So that's zero day. Wow. And uh, I think... How many shares have you been moving up? So where are you at right now? Uh, right now, I'm doing 25 hundred to three thousand and, and she's, been, she's been averaging one a day now I mean, I, hey you can brag I'm, I'm telling you this is, this is a great motivation for me but so my average has been almost two thousand dollar a day well, and, i remember you, uh, you 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 went over ten thousand one time i remember that's how i, I that's why I, I heard about you, right? You, you text me. You're so happy. <laughs> uh, I think my highest day was like 7,600 or something. And I had like two or uh, three days above 5,000. Oh, that's amazing. That's, that's so very I'm good. Giving... Basically double my actual salary at this point. <laughs> and t- tell, tell everybody the process. Because what you told me the other day was great. You, you, so, you say if it doesn't, go ahead. So what I do is I have order lines, I have fantasy order like you taught, and if it hit, it hit. If it doesn't, then I'll I'll just don't trade because there are a lot more stocks out there I can take a look. I don't have to force a trade. Like I always tell people, man, the best traders are not necessarily the most smart, is the most disciplined. If you're the most disciplined, which Faye is, oh my God, knows what she's doing. If her orders don't hit, she doesn't have to trade. And there's uh, where she didn't trade. I mean, th- that's the thing that you as an individual have to understand. You know, the losses are coming because of lack of discipline. And I know I'm not very experienced. So I give myself a hard rule is I don't trade front side short. That's not something I think I'm capable of doing at this point. But I think as I get more experience or more like comfortable with my process i might try but start to try with 100 share again <laughs> let, let, let me tell you something that stuff even for the experts they blow up <laughs> because <laughs> what you're doing is very good right now i would love for you to just not touch the front side ever until your bankroll is so big where you know you can throw away money <laughs> yeah um, that's why i'm saying like even if i try it will be 100 share again how are you handling risk management and stocks and all that um, so I know my brain capacity is pretty low, so I can only focus like two or three tickers a day. And uh, for those ones, I do 20%. I know Alex says like 30% for front side, but even for back side, because I'm trading two or three, I still start with like low. And also for me, I really like recycle because that saves me a lot of locate fee. It's like the other day I traded like a DTSS for like six times. And that's when I made that $6,800 oh, wow. that day. That's amazing. Are you using hard stop, mental stop combo? Uh, yeah, I use hard stop. That's why like I can walk away. So basically after I put my order, I put my stop. Wow. And I don't want to get frustrated. So, and I have day job. So I basically went back to my work desk stay away from the trading computer for a little. If it hits, it hits. And if hits, then go to my stop, then I don't lose much. Wow, that, that's the secret, guys, because she's putting these hard stops, walk away, no stress. And this is the discipline. Oh, my God, that's amazing. How are you finding these stocks in the beginning? Tell us the process when you wake up, you log on, tell us all that. How do you find and identify which stock to trade? Um, one is from the pr- previous day, the hot check round. And 
Then another one is like you and Alex and other moderators, you guys post the watch list. And another thing I'm trying to improve is I'm trying to find my own watch list. And so that's I, exactly right. Yep. You yeah, use the watch list as a guide. Now that yeah. you, yep. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean like whatever I will have to trade, whatever you post it on watch list. It's still like I need to look at the pre-market volume. And I also need to look at if there's any like news or PR or offering that can just mess up with my trading plan. Do you uh, have any scanners? I don't use scanners. Good. That's the perfect answer. That's what we tell everybody. All these guys are using scanners. Throw that away. Use that money to join because there's really – scanners won't teach you what to trade. They just give you a generic list. And if you're a beginning trader, you're going to pick the wrong stock. So I keep telling someone, picking the right stock to trade, half of the effort is gone. You know exactly you know, which one's the easier to trade and which one to avoid. Um, let me ask you this. What, what are you – so now that you are comfortable, how, how, what, what, do you guys, what, what are you thinking on what you can improve on or what are you trying to work on or what is your goal? Um, so for me, as I'm still practicing my process of the low hand fruit and red day, first red day setup, um, because I know that's the one I'm more comfortable with and I have less stress about, I want to size up that way a little bit until like, I think basically nine out of 10, I can profit or if I can constantly profit for like maybe six months. I will start to learn more other method, but still with very small share to practice until I'm more comfortable. Like I don't really, during this quarantine time with the virus, I don't trade large cap. I don't want to really touch it because for me, it's like I can't predict the market direction and the most of large cap follow that direction. Correct. So yeah, I'm, small caps are it's a big edge if you know what you're doing because most of it is a scam, right? <laughs> yeah, basically, like you said, at the end of the day, they are just our garbage. Yep. You just need to survive and have discipline until, you know, it's your time. So let me ask you, tell everybody, how do you level up on size? People always want to know, okay, you started with 100 shares. How do you know how to, when to go to 200 or 500 to 1,000? Now you're at 2,500. So tell everybody how you, you did that. What is your process? So at the beginning, I sized up a little bit faster from like 100 share to 500 share. It took me like a few days. And now because I have a larger size, so my goal is to, if I can constantly profit for three months to a month, three weeks to a month, I will size up another 500 shares. That's my plan. You, you see everybody how she's doing it. She's leveling up very slowly, very methodically. She has a process. And the reason why she's successful is because she has this process. You know, she's doing the same thing pretty much every day, right? You're like a robot right now, right? Yeah. I only short a one. I think I'm confident and uh, I have no stress or a very little stress. That's one thing I really care about the process. It's I don't want to stress myself. I don't want to sit in front of a trading computer, watch the chart all day. This is awesome. Anybody have any questions for her? And uh, I think the like timing rule is very magical. It's like okay, every day I just- rule. Explain the writing, timing rule and how that helped you. Yeah, it's like I only short like between zombie hour starts. Basically I stop shorting around 10, 20. Then I go back to my work. And at that point, like most, uh, all of them, are pretty much out. So I just go back to work and until like 1.45, because I'm not very good with long, so I don't really look in zombie hour. Tell everybody, how do you figure your entries and your exits? Uh, so there's a calculator that we, uh, we have. So I use the lines to put the line, like a few lines, like inner or outer lines then put it in the calculator to see how much is my risk, how much is my reward. And I use lines to calculate that, then decide. This is the MIC uh, calculator that's available in the video library? Is this the Joe Kelly one? Uh, yeah, that's a 
just that spreadsheet. That's just the spreadsheet, but it's very useful. I use that every day. Oh wow! So it works. So 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 basically, the stuff that we're teaching it work if you follow it. <laughs> and you know what? I, I I congratulate you. I I envy you. You have so much discipline. I lack. I don't. I don't want to be racist or anything, but I'm not racist, but je- uh, sexist. Because I'm a guy. Guys tend to be more aggressive, and so I'm always like, ur, 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 ur. and you're so calm, and it's that calming feeling that uh, that I admire that I've been trying every day to emulate from you. So you know, so if anybody out there, guys, thinking that you know that you need to be aggressive, you know, highly like crazy person, no, the best trainers are the ones that listen. Like Fei Yu is here, and I admire that. Very calm, very methodical, very processed. And I, I, you know, this is the beauty of MIC, guys. I'm learning every day from people like her. Oh, my I'm God. Basically I'm basically just applying every, everything you said. Like, even sometimes you don't obey that rule. I, 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 I'm horrible. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm horrible. I have no discipline. But so, I do. So there's two things. I have no discipline, but I still do very well. Imagine if I would apply your discipline. So I love it when I see you and you're like, holy, in another year, you'll be better than all of us. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. Anybody have questions for her? This is an extraordinary, do you have a tab? Do you use the tab program? Uh, I do. And we share some lines and we share some trading program, uh, like a trading process. And I think my tab is working on first bounce. And actually, I asked a lot of questions from from him, like, how does he do it? Like, why he does that way? Because I'm still so bad at long, actually. So give a shout out to all your tabs. The name of so give them say thank you. <laughs> who who are the tabs again? I'm so sorry. Kevin. What are the names in the in the chat? Is there a name in the chat? Kevin R. That's his name. Okay. How and it, you, go ahead. Go ahead. And it's like, sometimes I just feel better when I talk to him about my plan and I get either a confirmation or he's like, mm, I don't think so. Then I will take a look more. And also sometimes he will like kind of remind me, maybe you should get out this one or maybe like when he's long, he sees opportunity. So we're seeing like the opposite opportunity. So when he feels like he should get in, I feel like, okay, that's a warning. Maybe I should get out. So how did you meet your tab? Was there, did you go through Woody? I was just kind of curious how. Yeah, how he uh, sent me up with, so basically it's like based on our account size and our trading style. Uh, I think a Woody. Yeah, that was a Woody. Okay. Tab. That's awesome. So the, all these programs, you see guys, she took advantage of all, did you do a moderator calls or anything like that too? Yeah, I called Harry because I I wanted to know more about Long, and I know he's only doing Long. And uh, I didn't call, but I texted, like, Tom. Uh, and I also texted, like, Ty. Ty is really good at swing. And I was interested in a few swing trading. So basically, I think the good thing about MIC is everybody has different style. So whatever you're interested in or whatever you want to learn, you can find the one that like, fits your style. Okay, so before I let you go, so thank you. So when people join MIC, this is a problem I see a lot of them have. The first thing they do is they don't watch any videos. They don't read the email. They, they start messaging me about, uh, what is the line? Uh, is this a good short? And so tell everybody, you know, this is a secret, guys. This is a secret that why she's so successful. She's not skipping steps. She's doing the actual work. So, so, so to, can you summarize the steps when you join them and say what you did? You watch which videos uh, and you got a tab. Can you tell people the process that you use MIC? So I start with the new trader orientation. So I know what library is talking about what. And I know I don't have any previous knowledge of trading. So I start with Joe Kelly's basic trading. And the first time I watched a few, the first like three videos, I pretty much paused like every five minutes because I have no idea what he was talking about. So I just look up stuff on Google or in the MSC video library, if they have like a deep, deeper like explanation. So I actually have a notebook with full of my notes from those videos. 
Well, that That's... notebook's gonna be worth money. <laughs> I was like, can you give me your notebook? No. <laughs> um, and and I think the tab is very helpful in the regards. He's watching video too, so we have different knowledge and we share notes. Does your tab trade uh, kind of similar or? You guys no, do... he started with similar, but now he went on the other side. Okay, so that's even great. You see, uh, guys, you don't have to trade the same way. Sometimes knowing what the other side does, you can bounce back back and forth yeah. ideas. Yeah, that's what we do. And that's, dude, that's, that's amazing. Um, and then just start with small size. Like, I didn't start with paper trading because I feel like the psychology when you're now using real money is different. You probably are a lot more calm, a lot more patient when you paper trade. So I just start with very tiny money. That's, did you uh, start under PDT? No. Okay, so you had a bigger account over, but you only use other shares. Yeah, because that's why great. would I throw money in when I don't know what's going on? That's exact. That's exactly right. So how? So how much time did you think you you spent studying behind? You know, before all this, did you use eight hours, five hours a day? What, what did uh, you do? So when I do my day job, I basically put a video back on as like, a, at the same time, I'm pretty good at multitasking. So I can listen to that and take notes while I do my day job. I basically watch videos like, first week I watch like seven, eight hours a day. How are the videos by the way? Did you, did you, I hope you didn't mind the cursing. I think I curse a lot back in the day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 but you know, that was good, entertaining. So this is this is an amazing thing. It's like, and the, you started watching the same. This is the thing that people need to understand. You don't just watch the video one time. There's no. videos that you've watched many over time. Yeah, and it's like you get different things. Like the first time, I was probably just learning what's a term, like what they are talking about. Then the second time I watch is more like how they apply the term, how they apply those methods. That's what I do. When like, you joined MIC, did you join as a annual or how did you get to the lifetime? I was just kind of curious. So I started with monthly. Monthly? After, after the first week of watching all Joe Kelly's video, I just upgraded myself to lifetime. So you knew the value right away. <laughs> so that's good to know, guys. I feel yeah. like it's just like even just those videos, like now it has that seven long hour video. Just watching those definitely worth the lifetime. I think people should really just become lifetime if you have I'm, the capital. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man. This is the. You know what, guys? I swear, we, me, and Fei Wan, Fei Yu did not discuss this in advance. This is the first time we talked about this, and so that's why it's very natural. I appreciate that she's being honest. I didn't really know what she was going to say, to be honest. I have no idea. All she was said was, uh, "Val, on Tuesday, I'd like to be on." I go, oh, "Cool, come on." Because I, I want to showcase many different types of traders. It's uh, very rare that a female, you know, that, that is into trading. We have a bunch of females that are great. Sybil, Tay, Tay is one of our moderates. This is awesome. So we want to get more females involved because I think females make super traders. And so here's one fine example, right? And uh, yeah, anybody have one question for her before we get off? Alex, you have any questions for Faye? Or anybody else? But, okay, back to work it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to work, work now. Thank you, okay. Bob. Bye. All right, thank you. We'll see you on the, in the chat room. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Well, that was pretty cool. I, 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 I thank God I don't have any PSTI guys. I canceled all that stuff. So uh, five bucks, maybe it's time for me to go back. But no, I'm going to keep to the zombie rules. I'm going to channel Faye. She is super disciplined. Alex is super disciplined. There is a reason why. Both of them are very successful. No stress. Stick to the process. It's very humble. It's very okay with missing a trade. It's okay with making zero dollars a day if it does not hit your lines, does not match your profile. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next edition of IG Live. Hit up Tosh. you have any questions?